It's your girl DeLorean and I am back and better than ever for 2016. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you and yours. what this dab thing is uh, a few weeks ago. <laughs> dab your way into 2016, baby. Dab your way into your blessing. Dab your way into hard work. Just dab your way. Just dab your way. <laughs> After my last video, I had a young lady write and ask, man, can you please do a video about healing from a broken heart? Healing from disappointing yourself. How do you, how do you get past that? So, I'm gonna try very hard <laughs> to keep this to a minimum. These are the things that really came to my mind as I sat back and thought about, well, when I've been disappointed in myself and when I'm suffering from a broken heart, what, what was the process like for me? What did I experience? So here's the situation, you're hurting, you're in pain, You've been broken hearted, you're disappointed in yourself because maybe you realize, man, I could have prevented this to a point. Um, maybe if I had walked away sooner, the pain wouldn't be so severe. You're hurting and you're missing this man that you love and you just don't know where to start. All you know is that right now I'm in pain. Right now I miss this man. Right now I want him still. And that may be crazy but I miss him or I don't miss him. I hate him <laughs> and I don't want him in my life, but I just don't know where to go from here. Right now, all I see is pain. Let the pain in, go through it. You have to experience the pain. You can't run from the pain. If you don't address it, it's going to come up. <laughs> it's going to come up in some kind of way. If you just skim over it and move on to someone else, something that you didn't address is going to come up and knock you in the chin every now and then if you don't address it and deal with it. So go through the pain, cry. Don't let anyone tell you you're crazy or you're weak for being in pain or for missing someone or for being hurt or disappointed. We're all human and we all make mistakes and we all do things that we regret. I honestly don't believe in the no regret thing. There are some things I regret. There are some decisions that I made that I wish I had not made. Yes, all things work together for my good, but believe you me, if I could go back and redo some things, baby, I would. <laughs> so yes, deal with the regret, deal with being upset with yourself, deal with being upset with him. Let the pain in. Don't try to hide from it or run from it because you cannot heal from wounds you don't address. Acknowledge, learn, and apply. Acknowledge your part in the situation. You need to really sit down and analyze the situation. What happened? Where did it go wrong? Where were there things and signs that you missed? Things that you may have looked over. Things that you could have paid more attention to. Standards you could have set earlier. Acknowledge your part in the situation. Acknowledge when you realize, man, I should have left then. Acknowledge, man, it was my fault. I cheated, I wasn't strong enough, I wasn't a good example of a woman here. Acknowledge your part in the situation. And then what do you gotta do? You gotta learn from it. So once you acknowledge, yo, I didn't set a good standard here. I should have been wiser. I should not have allowed him to talk to me the way that he did. Because what happened is that ultimately became a routine that I allowed. I allowed him to speak negativity over my life so to the point where I became comfortable with it. Life and death are in the power of the tongue and they that love it shall eat the fruits thereof. They that love it shall be comfortable with it and begin to conform their lives to the things that are being spoken over them, whether it's being spoken by someone else or yourself. 
So I've allowed him to speak negatively over myself, over my life, and now I become comfortable with it. And so now I have conditioned myself to believe it and now I've acted this thing out now. Now I'm acting beneath my standard, beneath who I am. That's why you gotta catch things. You gotta catch things. You gotta be sharp. You gotta catch things as soon as you can. Because the thing is, you'll look up, it'll be a year later, this man has spoken so much death over your life that now you can't even see the greatness in yourself. Or you've spoken so much death over your life, you can't see the greatness. Your parents have spoken so much death over yourself that now all you hear is what your mama told you. You're gonna be just like your father. And so this young man, man, I'm talking to you, you've allowed your mother to speak so much death over yourself that now, yeah, you become like your father in the negative ways that he was and now you're treating the women in your life as such because of what your mother has spoken over you and you've become comfortable in it. And now you're acting it out. Words are powerful. Now I have to apply it. So the third step in the acknowledgement pack <laughs> is to apply. So we have acknowledge your part, learn, and apply because what's gonna happen? Oh, that test is gonna come right back around. <laughs> Did you learn? Did you stand strong until you saw action and not just words? Did you stand fast until you saw a man treats you how you, how you deserve and gives you the respect that you require? <laughs> Have you applied what you learned? This is very crucial. I feel a lot of times we find ourselves holding ourselves up because we are not taking this thing seriously. You cannot be passive in your love life and as it pertains to your heart, you cannot be passive. You got to take this thing seriously because sometimes we are not taught these things and we don't know. So we got to go to the school of hard knocks and teach ourselves so we can teach our children how to hold themselves up to a standard. So even if it's difficult to be strong and not answer the phone, even if it's difficult to hold your standard until you get what you want because you may be alone, even if it's difficult, you've got to do it. You've got to get past to that point where walking in your standard now is the norm and not something you have to aspire to. No contact, get by yourself, get some alone time here, get on your knees and get to praying, get to fasting, Get to knowing yourself as a single person. Get to doing things on your own. Get to treating yourself. Get to taking yourself out. Get to doing things for yourself. Build a life for yourself that's so wonderful that it would just be a man's pleasure to be a part of it. Don't build for someone else. Build for you. Live for you because you don't know when your person is coming along. It's coming along. And if you feel like, hey, I wanna be with this person, but maybe it was the wrong time, no contact until the joker is giving you what you require, point blank, period. Protect yourself. If it's not absolutely necessary, which nine times out of 10, it's not, no contact. These are just the first few things that came to my mind. Let me know if you really want me to dig deeper into this, if you have some more questions, but I absolutely believe these are just a few things that can help set you on your way. Go through the pain, let the pain in, go through it. Experience it so you can get through it because I promise you, it's not going to last always. Acknowledge your part, learn from it and apply it so you can grow. I am a Christian and I absolutely believe that prayer changes things. Pray and ask your creator, ask the Lord, ask God, what could I have done differently? Reveal some things to me. If there are things that I'm not quite seeing, help me with my discernment in choosing people for me. Help me to know myself. That Again, I'm a huge proponent of knowing who you are and your purpose in life because that will help you make better decisions when you're choosing someone to be with, someone to date. And get some good friends. If it's only one, I believe, you know, my closest friends have been my rock. And I'm so grateful for the times that I cannot think with a clear mind where I'm being too negative or down on myself. They absolutely lift me up but you have to be wise in who you confide in.
I hope this has truly helped you. Let me know what your experience is, what you're thinking. If you're going through something, email me at askdelorean at gmail.com. I am absolutely here for a listening ear or to give you my thoughts and guidance. I can only talk about the things that I've experienced and I have absolutely been at my lowest from a broken heart. I know what it's like to be in pain. I know what it's like to be hurt and to feel that you will never rise from that pain. But you can and you will. You absolutely will. You can control what you learn from that thing. You can control how you apply it. And even if you make a mistake and you go back, it's okay. Get back up and try again. Get back up until you get it right because you will hold yourself back. We can absolutely dig deeper into this thing here. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your experiences so we can help each other coming into this new year with a new mind and a new perspective that we're going to be wise about the people we allow into our lives. We got to be protective. We got to guard our hearts. And we have to know that this is a person that's in my life because they deserve to be here. I'm not carrying any dead weight. I'm not carrying any second best. I'm not carrying any slackers. I'm not carrying any jokers that's not giving me 100%. I'm not carrying any of that. Because I'm a wife. I'm not somebody that's just cool to be around for the right now. I know my value and my worth. And no matter how many times I've made mistakes, I have gotten back up once again. And here I am, back up once again, stronger than ever. And you can be too. Even in the pain, it's not easy, but you can get through it. Don't let anyone tell you it's easy. It's not. But you will get through it. You will be okay. And I'm here for you. I love you so much, my lifers. This year is the year of execution. This, is the, this year is the year of the standard. And you got to hold yourself to a standard. We can't let anybody in that doesn't deserve to be there because they will inevitably take us off track. And that affects our purpose. Because if I got someone in my life that's taking me off kilter, then that's going to affect my purpose. That's going to alter my effectiveness in what I was created to do. And I don't have time to waste. I'm, I'm chasing purpose here. I'm trying to serve people here. And I'm chasing coin, baby. I can't let you take me off point and get me off my coin, nah. <laughs> so I love you guys so much. Let me know what you think. We'll talk soon, all right? King in New York, John Gotti issues.